And hello all, this is Lala Madness and you're tuning in to another episode of The Fierce Review. And in this episode, we'll actually be discussing The Verge um, actually states that SpaceX will launch private citizens into orbit very soon. So, um, you know where to reach me at on all social media platforms at Lala Madness. Also, you can email me at lmfiercereview at gmail.com. You um, can also like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, La La Madness, and also I'm on all podcasting platforms at La La Madness as well. Now, um, we all know that everyone's been um, talking about going into space for some time now, so it's not a big secret. It's not like, you know, nobody knew about going into space would be happening sometime like now, so, or rather soon, or possibly already. So let's get into it and talk about what SpaceX is actually doing and what it plans on offering to the citizens to be able to go into orbit in space. Now, SpaceX is actually a company that's owned by Elon Musk, which we probably have all heard of him. For those of you who haven't, I suggest that you look him up because um, he's doing a number of things out there in them streets. All right. Now, SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's company, and Space Adventures... Um, would not actually disclose the price of the trip that it is to be um, for the citizens to take this trip into space. So no price has been disclosed at this point. Um, and unless you can afford to go, they probably don't feel like they need to disclose it to you. All right. Now, Space Adventures and SpaceX has actually partnered together to provide these trips to citizens. Um, and Space Adventures is actually more of a tourism business that has already taken about seven people Um to allow them to take trips to and from the International Space Station in Russia and the Suez rocket um, and spacecraft. That's what they've been traveling on um, and they've been leaving from Russia apparently. So for the collaboration they plan to send four citizens which will be the collaboration of SpaceX and Space Adventures together. Space Adventures as I mentioned has already kind of done their own thing previously and that's what they already do. So um, they expect to take flight in late 2021 or early 2022 so you know how fast the year goes by here lately so don't be surprised when you see it approaching rather quickly and apparently it's approached for people to have already been going on these trips and they're just not leaving from the United States now in December of 2018 they decided to take one person around the moon um, who is Japanese billionaire Yasuku Mazawa and they are not sure what happened to the other customer as of right now. It was going to be two customers. Then it boiled down to that one guy. Okay. But he's a billionaire. So this would be like pennies in a bucket to go ahead and do what he wants to do in space. Okay. Or what many um, of us probably have thought about doing. Now, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic, um, which we know that's the Virgin Mobile man. All right. Um, and Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, are in the running to start a space tourism of their own. So we all know Jeff Bezos. That's the Amazon guy. And he has a hand in, um, I don't even want to say the Washington Post, but check it. He's like a, a big um, stockholder of those people. So um, he kind of has his hands in a whole lot of things. But Jim, Jeff Bezos basically has that check. And his is going to be Blue Origin as far as his spaceships. And um, Richard Bronson's is going to be the Virgin Galactic, which Virgin is kind of a name that we all know and have heard of before, whether that's in the record industry and music industry um, and also through the mobile cell phones that many of us used to have back in the day. So um, they are in the running basically to start a tourism, uh, space tourism companies of their own or do the same thing. Um, and these two, the Jeff Bezos and the Richard Bronson's Virgin Galactic trips will actually be shorter um, than what Elon Musk and um, the other and SpaceX is, is planning to do. Well, Space Adventures and SpaceX is planning to do. They're going um, for a longer trip and um, the Virgin Galactic and Jeff Bezos companies are going to be going on shorter trips. But I guess you still get the same effect. You're in space. Go figure. Um, Blue Origin says their tickets will cost around $200,000. So that's for the shorter one. 
So we don't know what the long trip costs because those are the people that's not disclosing the cost. But the shorter trips is the 200000 Okay. So Virgin Galactic says that it plans to have operations up and running um, for the first trip later on this year um, in 2020. So the shorter trips will be available at the end of the year. Um, so I'm not sure if there's an early sign up process where people can kind of get on the list to get ready to take off. Um, but the ones that come with the longer trip will actually be taken off in um, late 2021, early 2022. Now, um, SpaceX is currently working with NASA to certify the spacecraft that they have um, that they plan on taking into space. OK, SpaceX also said that it will ferry people around the Earth. Um, and it has minimal features and a suspended seats and touch screens and lots of windows for you to be able to view um, out in the space. Um, and they include sleek space suits and helmets. The suits are pressurized, cooled and flame resistant, which I hope so, because nobody plans on, you know, floating off in the space or also catching on fire. That's very important. I feel anywho. Um, and they're also going to have touch screen compatible gloves. To be able to touch on the screens that they have available, I guess, I don't know if they're going to be operational to do certain things um, on those screens. Um, you probably can do everything but open the windows on them, guys, because that's not what you want to do out there. Okay. Um, and Jeff Bezos Blue Origin actually has larger windows than the SpaceX. So um, the Blue Origin, you'll get to see more out of the window. Um, but the SpaceX operation is probably going to have a lot more features as far as the customized helmets and suits and things of that nature. So it's basically all up to what type of experience that you want to have. And basically, it probably boils down to how much money you have as well. How much can you afford? Can you afford that $200,000 short trip? Or will you be trying to get into that long trip that's probably going to cost, I'm guessing, a half a meal if the short trip is 200000 But that also, you know, relates on the experience. How far are you going to go? Where are you going to go into space besides just the trip around Earth? Um, and also, you know, one is basing it off the windows being larger. One is basing it off you have touch screens that you can kind of play with while in there with these great suits. So it's basically, I guess, based upon what type of experience you're trying to have. So I am excited to see exactly what's going to be happening out there in space and um, who's going first. But I guess, like they said, some people have already been going, but they've been leaving from Russia. They have not been living, leaving from the United States just as of yet. Everyone's still trying to get certified in the United States by NASA in order to take their spaceships up and offer the trips to citizens. But I guess they already have a couple buyers, um, as I mentioned. So we'll just wait to see who takes off and where they go from here. And um, that's what I have. I just felt like everybody should know about what's happening in space and what um, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and everybody is up to out there with their little spaceships and also um, the Virgin Mobile Man. So everybody is. I do recall like a couple years ago, the Virgin Mobile Man was mentioning um, about his spaceships and how he was trying to um nasa was giving them a hard time back then because i guess that wasn't the right time you know everything here has to be the right timing um and if you try to launch things earlier than what they plan on launching it then it could kind of be a problem which is what he ran into so we just have to wait and see what happens who's going first you know the um, virgin mobile man plans on trying to make his trip first um and so we want to see what happens with that and let me know what you think. Do you plan on putting some money to the side and taking you a trip? I'm curious. Mm. Let me know. This is Lala Madness, and you tuned in to another episode of The Fierce Review. Reach me by email at lmfiercereview at gmail.com. Also, you can check out all of my videos on YouTube at Lala Madness, and also I'm on all podcast streaming platforms as well and you can reach me on social media at la la madness on all platforms also so um let me know what you think also like share subscribe and give me some feedback would you guys go would you not go i don't know i'm curious to know what you would do if you had the opportunity to go and the money was just sitting there for you to go and use at your expense or it was set aside to go and take this trip would you do it let me know all right i'm out